Who are you talking to? Yes. What are you telling her? <laughs> Chelsea is going to my mom's house, my parents' house, and she's going to see Mocha and Mimi and Papa and the monkey, and she's going on and on and on on her phone to Minnie Mouse telling Minnie what we're doing today. So we're getting ready to go over to my parents' house. We're going to take Chelsea over there because Alex <laughs> has an orthodontist appointment. Why? Bottom braces. She's getting her bottom braces on today. <laughs> she's so thrilled. <laughs> So her bottom teeth are, are actually pretty straight. They look pretty nice, but they need to put bottom braces on to fix a few problems. And I guess they connect like with rubber bands or whatever, the bottom braces to the top to kind of align everything. I don't, I don't really know. I know they've explained it to us before, but we'll find out more when we go today. But she's getting her bottom braces on and then she's probably gonna have a sore mouth again for a few days like she did with a the- A sore mouth? It's agony. Oh, you maybe need to take some medicine before we go. Yeah. That way it settles in. But I think you'll be okay because I think the first day the last time you were okay, it was like the second or third day that you were sore. Wasn't it like a couple days later that you were sore? No, it was like a few hours later it started kicking Oh. Okay, well, we'll take something with us just in case you have discomfort. Mm -hmm. But, um, so she's going from just the top braces, so now she's gonna have a whole mouthful of braces. I know, right? And then, again, we'll talk I'm to him. I'm having freedom on my bottom lip. <laughs> that one tooth is still stubborn and not coming in, so we'll probably talk to him about that as well. All of our big spaces closed up, though, after using that power chain. She just has a little space between the two front teeth, so. We'll have to ask him about that. I would imagine that'll get fixed later. So we are off to drop off this one at my mom's. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'll go see the monkey first. You want to go see the monkey first? Yeah. And then Alex and I are off to the orthodontist. Okay, so Alex has shown interest in photography, taking pictures. She has um, one of our old vlogging cameras and we are going to do what's called a photo challenge. Maybe this is something that you guys can help us with as well. Um, we figured we would vlog it, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give Alex a word or like a theme to go with every day to take a photograph and um, then she can like edit it or do whatever she wants and she can interpret it any way she wants. So like if I tell her today's theme is the color blue, she can take a picture of the sky or she can take a picture of anything, anything that's blue. Huh? Is it the color blue? Yeah. Oh, not today's, no. But um, she can interpret it any way she wants. Actually, yeah, today's can be blue. This is the first. No, because you just told me what to do. No, it's do, okay. Do another color. No. This is, this is no. the first day. So I told her, I said, do you want something easy for the first day? And she's like, yeah, probably. So this is just kind of a little fun project that we're going to be doing and see kind of how it goes. But anyway, if you guys have a theme idea for Alex, you can leave it in the comments and it can be just something really simple. It doesn't have to be anything very difficult, especially since, um, you know, sometimes you can be a little limited with what you can do. But she can run with the theme and she can do whatever. She can translate it any way she wants to. So. All right, tell me what the theme is. Huh? Tell me what the theme is. Well, I wanted to start with something easy today. Should we just stick with blue? No, because you told me what to do. Okay, well, I was giving it as an example. Okay, so today's is green. They're almost all already on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm already I'm waiting for him to come over and position them. Just getting all that little excess glue off. Put your thing on. <laughs> wow. How's it feel? It's, this one back here is a little pokey. Yeah. I don't know if it's supposed to be the. Okay, so we're leaving the orthodontist. Show everybody your teeth. Oh my goodness, how does it feel? Pretty good. Pretty good? Hopefully, I said, but I said you look beautiful. I feel beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. So <laughs> she has some crowding on the bottom teeth and they use like a little file thing to like file her teeth. It was really kind of weird, but kind of cool. It was like a, like a string and it felt like a file. It looked like a file, like a really small file, metal file that they put in between your teeth. So Alex has a full mouth of braces now 
They're gonna do an x-ray next time because of that baby tooth that hasn't oh, come, or buggy. permanent, permanent punch punch buggy. Buggy. <laughs> the permanent tooth that hasn't come down yet, so. Yeah. But yeah, it's all done for now. We're at Mimi and Papa's and we're swinging on the swings. Chelsea's been asking and asking since we got back. Can I swing on the swings? Woo, girl. I said, do you want mommy to help you or do you want to swing like that? And she said she wants to swing like this. You ready? Hold on tight. Woo! <laughs> Say giddy up, horsey. Giddy up, horsey. <laughs> Wee! An after races treat. Tell us what you got. What is it? Nutella shape. Nutella shape. Yeah. <laughs> Chelsea got vanilla with sprinkles. Oh, and mommy got vanilla with sprinkles. Yummy, so good. Does it feel better on your teeth? Have something nice and cold. <laughs> <laughs> and the gut, <laughs> and the head. Ow. <laughs> and the dog. Come on, he wasn't in here before. <laughs> Ready. Yeah, I'm ready, ready. yeah. <laughs> oh. 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 Every time the head right in mommy's tongue. Oh. Oh. Ride bikes with me, Mom. She's wanting to ride that one and she wants me to ride this one. And Alex go ride that one. Alex is going to ride that one. Yeah. I don't know. She said she's coming out, but I think she's going to want to take the bike that Mommy's on because she really likes this one. We all fight over it. Go ahead, mommy's right behind you. Don't go too far. <laughs> Coming. Hey, lady. You crashed into me. <laughs> you even? Hi. Uh oh. Do we need to charge your batteries? Were you pushing down all the way? Sounds like we might need to charge your buggy. Yeah, I your, am. your scooter. Ready? Hold on tight, okay? Okay. Okay. Here we go. We're cruising. Is it so fun? Hold on tight. Oh, here comes Alex and Eddie. Hey! Eddie! Hey! <laughs> ah, right in front of mom. Right in front of me, guys. Really? Oh my goodness, you're all in there? Yep, we're all in here. Alex. Chelsea and Edward are all piled into the circus tent. Sit down. Or something. <laughs> Squeezed in. Let me see ya. Oh my gosh! Where's your circus monkeys? Oh my goodness, I see one. There's the other one. Gotta stay safe with that helmet, you know. It's time for the question of the day. Today's question comes from Chelsea Fowler. I like your name, Chelsea. And the question is, if you had to live somewhere cold, where would it be? Canada or Sweden? Oh, oh I didn't think, think Sweden. I didn't think of Canada. We love Canada. <laughs> I don't know. I really kind of narrowed my mind down to the United States. I wasn't even really thinking anywhere else. Canada. I don't know, we're in Canada, but I would say Canada. We love Canada. Or Sweden. Okay. I'm going to go with Alaska, which is near Canada. <laughs> True. Alaska is very beautiful. Yeah. We've seen lots of pictures, and, and my mom took an Alaskan cruise a few years ago with her sister, and it was just so pretty. Oh my gosh, the pictures. Um, I'm going to say Wyoming, specifically like Yellowstone area. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm like, say the rest of Wyoming is Florida. <laughs> no, I want to be where there's like mountains and like really pretty landscapes. And, and like we went to Yellowstone and it was just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I 
loved it. So I would love to like live on the outskirts of um, Yellowstone National Park. That would be amazing. But I I would also be happy with Canada. I really liked Canada when we went. I just like the mountains. There's not is there a whole lot of can uh, mountains in Canada? Yeah, the same. You go north of Yellowstone, and it's Banff. Oh, <gasps> ooh, I picked uh, Banff. You know, Edmonton and Calgary <laughs> are right there, but they're flatlands. So Banff's really the only one that's in the mountains. Vancouver. I'll go for Banff. Dish. I'm okay with that. So that's my answer. I change it to that. <laughs> So we want to know from you guys, if you had to live somewhere cold, where would it be? Leave it in the comments below.